Macau casino stocks getting slammed after investors fear tighter regulations could be on the horizon. Those fears are certainly well-founded, given what uh, the administration there has been saying, the CCP. Eunice Yoon has more on this story. And Eunice, we are talking about some big sell-offs in these stocks. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Macau authorities say they're going to review the rules. And uh, these licenses are 20 years old. Uh, the licenses are for the gaming, co the gaming companies such as The Win, The Sands, MGM, among others. Those are going to be expiring next June. But the officials said that as of today, they are kickstarting a 45-day process to assess the number of those licenses as well as the duration. They're also going to look if there's a need to install government representatives to oversee day-to-day -day operations and then how to tighten supervision. So that could include pre-approvals for the transfer and distribution of profits to shareholders, and increasing voting shares for Macau permanent residents. A Macau officials also want to institute regulations to promote non-gaming elements as well as social responsibility. Uh, that's been a longer-term trend. Uh, they want to institute these regulations to really encourage the sector to diversify its offerings away from gambling. So because of all the scrutiny, a J.P. Morgan today downgraded Macau gaming firms from overweight to neutral or underweight. Citigroup, though, a bit more optimistic. Uh, they see positive implications, they say, for the six casino operators that do get the licenses if the revisions, at the end of the day, enhance the long-term sustainable growth for the Chinese territory. But, you know, Becky, it's still unclear um, exactly what the longer-term impact is going to be because we don't have a whole lot of detail. Hey, Eunice, just based on these stock drops, it, it, it seems like people didn't see this coming. We, we know that China's cracking down on technology, cracking down on the big banks. Maybe this was one that escaped people's notice, and I guess that, that might lead investors to think what comes next. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have been wondering what's coming next. Um, as of right now, um, one of the latest has been uh, that the cosmetics industry um, could be the next one targeted because we've been hearing more and more rumbling in the state press about how uh, cosmetics and beauty ads and beauty products need to be uh, better regulated. So because it's we're starting to see it in the state press, people are thinking those regulations could hit the industry. But um, in terms of Macau, it, we knew that the licenses were going to expire next June. Uh, that's something that has been a bit of a source of uncertainty here, especially because Beijing has already been uh, restricting a lot of the gaming companies concerned about gambling, uh, something that uh, the uh, Communist Party had at one point decided was a social ill, also worried about the capital flow that's going through, not all of it legal uh, through, uh, through Macau. So already we've seen a tightening in Macau. So there has been that level of uncertainty. And, and now, as, as you had noted, this whole crackdown on various different industries is just um, shocking people and investors have sold off these stocks. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.